What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to install LUTs in the new Final Cut Pro update. If you still haven't updated to version 10.4 then I highly recommend it, it's got so many really cool uh, features, especially in the colour grading department. So the first thing I'm going to do is add an adjustment layer. Adjustment layers are really cool because you can add colour correction to your whole project mm -hmm. and not just to your clips individually. I'll leave the download link for the adjustment layer down below if you still haven't got it. It's a title plugin. So I'm going to go up here to titles, uh, adjustment layer, and I'm just going to drag that over my footage. And then to this adjustment layer, I'm going to add the new effect that Final Cut Pro have added. So over here in the effects tab, go to custom LUT and I'm just going to drag that onto my adjustment layer. And then up here to install LUTs that you've downloaded, all you have to do is click on this drop down menu, go to choose custom LUT. And what you can actually do is choose separate LUTs or choose folders which have LUTs in. I recommend organizing your LUTs into folders because it will organize them really well in the custom LUT drop down menu, uh, you'll see in a second. So I'm just gonna click on this folder here which has all of my new LUTs in. I'm gonna click open and that is automatically going to add them to this drop down menu. You'll see why I said put them in folders because now it's got this whole folder in here with all of, all of these LUTs. So now all I'm going to do is select my LUT right here. It's just added the color grade to the shot right there. And LUTs are really cool because they give your uh, video like an instant color grade and there's so many about. There's a lot of free LUTs out there and there's also a lot of really good paid packs. I'll leave this LUT as a free download link below. It's pretty crazy. It's like a teal and red sort of effect. Another little feature that I've found playing around with this effect is that if you change the input and output to rec.2020, it'll actually give you different colors because it changes the color space, the input and output color space. It actually adds more color in the 2020 color space, which is really cool and then you can obviously adjust that, the amount it, it affects your footage, which is good because if you don't shoot super flat, then it's probably gonna be way too uh, strong for your footage. So that's a nice little touch they've added in there as well. And you can actually keyframe this as well, which is pretty cool. So if you wanted to show a before and after, then you could turn it down to zero, put a keyframe, move along and turn it up to one, and then it will gradually just add on, which is a cool like before and after effect uh, if you wanted to do that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll leave all the download links below. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.